NetBeans IDE 731 provides the tools, templates and samples to help you get started and be productive with the Java EE 7 platform. Out of the box, the IDE enables you to create Maven-based or Ant-based applications conforming to the Java EE 7 specifications. While creating your applications, you can specify that they should be deployed to Glassfish 4, which is bundled together with NetBeans IDE 731. New templates and wizards have been added to the IDE to let you quickly and efficiently create code conforming to the new Java E7 specifications. For example, you can generate a template to get started with the new Java-based JAX-RS client. The IDE generates code that uses the new JAX-RS client API based on the latest insights and techniques in the Java EE platform. The generated code is clean, simple, and easy to use. Also, when JMS messages are created, the code leverages CDI for the first time via the inject annotation. Notice also that the messaging code has shrunk from around 20 lines to just one in JMS 2.0. To support the new HTML5 features in the Java E7 platform, NetBeans supports all the syntax enhancements in JSF 2.2, such as the HTML5 pass-through attributes, together with Expression Language 3.0 in the editor workflow. Also, to support HTML5 integration in Java EE 7, NetBeans IDE lets you quickly and easily work with WebSocket endpoints. It provides a wizard, code completion, and documentation to help you get started. You can create powerful applications via WebSockets quickly via NetBeans IDE. JSON APIs can be used immediately with code completion and other features out of the box. When learning about Java EE 7, NetBeans IDE is the ideal tool to use.